You know, Harold Ballard's obsession in the 1980s of having things his own way led to the formation of this team and uh, cost us the uh, New Brunswick Hawks squad indirectly and uh, lost him a quarter million dollars uh, uh, U.S. So today we're going to be talking about uh, Ballard's debacle for the 1982 Sadie season to Cincinnati <coughs> Tigers. Now, to remind our hockey league team based in Cincinnati at Riverfront Coliseum, the team was owned and operated by Maple Leaf Gardens Limited and served as the primary farm team for the Maple Leafs. Now, prior to launching the Tigers, the Leafs were affiliated with the Brunswick Hawks of the AHL, which they shared with Chicago Blackhawks. However, Ballard, owner of the Leafs, decided that they needed a development team of their own with a spokesperson citing the limited number of roster spots as the rationale for the move. Now, the team averaged only 1,500 fans and lost three-quarters of a million dollars in the first season, leading the Leafs to dissolve the Tigers in the spring of 82. Shortly thereafter, with Chicago having pulled out of New Brunswick in favor <coughs> of affiliating with the Springfield Indians on their own, the Leafs relocated the Brunswick Hawks to St. Catharines, Ontario, to establish the St. Catharines Saints as the farm team. Now, the team colors were black with blue, gold, and white trim, Quite nice. Now, he did make it to the playoffs, only to lose three games to one to the Dallas Blackhawks, who ironically were a Toronto affiliate back in the day. Uh, Doug Carpenter led the team to a 46 30 and 4 record. Now, the Tigers' roster was quite interesting because you had uh, some really nice talent. You had Reggie Thomas, of course, Bruce Boudreau, Gary Amchuk, uh, Vlad Vilaslev Duras, Frank Negro, Ron Settlebauer in. Uh, uh, in one of his best minor league seasons with 27 goals, Dave Shan, Greg Hotham, Rick Blight, the former uh, Vancouver Canuck, Bill McCreary, Norman O'Ban, Ron Zanussi, uh, John Smirk, Bob Parent, who had the majority of the starts, a young Craig Mooney, Yuri Siha, and Kurt Ridley. Now, Siha, Ridley, and Parent shared the, uh, the goalie duties that year, with Parent going 34-24 and three. <coughs> now, I think the reason why Harold Ballard was fascinated with the Tigers, because obviously he owned the Hamilton Tiger Cats, maybe wanted a second Tiger team. Now, I don't remember this team getting much TV or media coverage, not talking about very much, but he was well-suited in New Brunswick, but maybe for some reason he didn't want to share that franchise with Chicago and, uh, you know, kind of ruined the Maple Leafs for New Brunswick from then on. Uh, Obviously, the Franklin Express... The Nordic affiliate got the majority of the play and uh, what do you call uh, uh, momentum. But when the Brunswick Hawks were really rolling, they were in the Brunswick's team and Ballard ruined it. Everything he touched back in the day, again, turned to ruin. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the 81-82 season was one of the worst in Toronto history. I think they ended up 24 games under 500 that year with uh, Ricky Vive taking over for Settler as captain mid-season. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of the very, very forgotten, but for many, the, the beloved Cincinnati Tigers of the CHL. If you like what you're doing here, we're the Toronto Maple Leaf Podcast. Let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.